just recorded most of this video without my microphone on. So that's exciting. This is a video response to Bud Newman, feckless man on YouTube, if you don't know who I'm talking about. He recently posted an episode of his new web series, which he talks about words and English and stuff because he's an educator and that's what he does. And he talked about specifically the word chimera and he defined it as a mythical beast with a head of a lion and a goat and some other creature. I think it's a lizard of some kind. Anyway, three heads on one thing, mythical beast chimera. That's the definition he gave but it's not entirely correct. I recognized instantly that Bud was not entirely correct because I took a genetics course once and we talked about chimeras and how they are an animal that has two or more different populations of genetically distinct cells that originate in different zygotes involved with sexual reproduction. Chimeras are formed from four parent cells, two fertilized eggs, or early embryos fused together. Each population of cells keeps its own character and the resulting animal is a mixture of tissues. Chimeras are typically seen in non-human zoology, but also discovered to a rare extent in humans. That's right from the Wikipedia page. The most notable of the naturally occurring chimeras, of course, is the anglerfish. Anybody that's been around the internet for a little while knows that there's a song about the anglerfish in which Hank Green describes the anglerfish female being some big, huge thing and the male swimming along and <laughs> being sucked in and becoming a parasitic attachment to the female anglerfish. And after the male bites the female's body and becomes part of it, the two become one thing and thus become a chimera because they are two separate distinct individuals of cells that now become one creature. My question for any science nerds is, if a human gets a heart implant from a pig, is he now a chimera as well? I don't know the answer to that question because I'm not a science nerd. I don't know anything about genetics, but somebody out there must. And thus that reaches the end of my video response. This is Video Response Tuesday coming to you every Tuesday if I choose to do a video. I don't wanna make any promises because, you know, I'm not guaranteed to make it to next Tuesday. Bye.